Yeah, David Dread of Steel Pulse, and I'm saying heal to Lion Voice because it's time that the lion have its voice, have its own story. Says I'm stepping out here. Hear me now. Yeah, the lion's voice. Rawr. My first experience with identity was when I joined my primary school. Okay. <laughs> And the interesting thing is, um, it was children of Caribbean heritage. Okay. Um, we're talking about six, seven year olds in the playground. Um, they approached me and asked me if I was from Africa. Oh, okay. You know, I was, <laughs> you know, I, I seemed to have been a bit of a novelty to these children. And I remember going home and saying to my mother, what is Africa? Where is Africa? Because, <laughs> you know, we're, you know, as a young child coming from Jamaica, you understand where's that yard in Jamaica, but yes, yes. It's, not, it's not a word in your vocabulary at that age. Okay, okay. You know, so my mother obviously thought about it. So one evening she sat me down and she gave me a sort of very simple story about Jamaicans and where they came from, etc. And that itself created an interest in myself. Okay. To understand why we were taken. What do you have to tell the people about Rastafari? Light to the world. The king of kings and the conquering line of the tribe of Judah. Hey yo, hey I hear them high, hear the black king on the 23rd of July. So tell them guy who prays God up in the sky, it's a lie. The Almighty living on your night. From ancient times, them a try. Them Romans know them just open in them suit and ties. Criminals ain't got no alibi. They stole my people, then them come spread out them genocide. Still, them couldn't kill. The lion will come conquer to the tribe oh. Go to tribulation I your nice tribe See separation I your nice still rise That's why we tell them In America Live Rastafari in a every ghetto area We come to tell them In a Toronto This is a very great honor today for I personally As a young Rastafari, me, 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 me grey a little bit, but me young still, you know, uh, when we are talking about Rastafari, Chad. So this is such a great honor because today I have a guest, my first guest from across the water, probably the, the UK, United Kingdom. Uh, this guest um, has been a pioneer in terms of work, both in the UK and also in Ethiopia, uh, part of the historic centenary chart. We're going to have to talk about it. You know, part of many works over the years, no stranger to the Jamaica Rastafari family. Who am I talking about? Help I to welcome Lion Pride, royal queen and daughter of Ethiopia, uh, Mama Walata. Georgis, also known as Sister Livet. Welcome. Rastafari, greetings, Rastquizzi, and to your listeners. Thank you for inviting me onto this show today. Give thanks and praise Give thanks um, for agreeing to come on this platform. Uh, this is a platform that we are really using to connect the family globally. Um, you know, the audience is mostly Rastafari ones, you know, the, the of, of my platform. Um, so family in Jamaica, throughout the Caribbean, a lot of the core family is really plugged in. Um, and one of the things we want to do is to get to know each other, you know, and, and the works that we're doing so that we can feel proud about ourselves as Rastafari to know that workers are out there. So please introduce the ourselves. Where were you born? And, and give us um, just a taste about your journey to Rastafari. Yes, um, it's a long, it's a, been a long road, um, Rasquezi. Um, firstly, I was born in Jamaica in the late 50s. I 
I travelled to the United Kingdom to join my parents at the age of five. Basically had all my school education here within the UK. As a young black child growing up here in the UK, um, was interesting mm. in that my first experience with identity was when I joined my primary school. Okay. <laughs> and the interesting thing is, um, it was children of Caribbean heritage. Okay. Um, we're talking about six, seven year olds in the playground. Um, they approached me and asked me if I was from Africa. Oh, okay. You know, I was, you know, I, I seemed to have been a bit of a novelty to these children. And I remember going home and saying to my mother, what is Africa? Where is Africa? Because, you know, we're, you know, as a young child coming from Jamaica, you understand where's that yard in Jamaica, but yes, yes. It's, not, it's not a word in your vocabulary at that age. Okay, okay. You know, so my mother obviously thought about it. So one evening she sat me down and she gave me a sort of very simple story about Jamaicans and where they came from, etc. And that itself created an interest in myself okay to understand why we were taken you know i'm talking about under 11 here why we yeah. were taken so i used to seek out literature in the library etc okay um you know um i think history was always a subject that i've sort of lean to as one of my curriculum studies okay um and i remember i had a history teacher her name was mrs gusef and she taught me political history mm -hmm. to about 14 at the time and she actually introduced me to his imperial majesty emperor Haile Selassie the first in in terms of my first awareness of who he is and his role he played on the world stage within the context of um, early to mid, early 20th century. Um, I remember being absolutely fascinated by the stories that she provided me with, you know, and you know, but the interesting thing about it was that when I heard the name, it was like, I knew, you know, it's like somebody I knew, you know, that was the overwhelming feeling yes, that came yes. over me that, oh, I know him, you know, <laughs> you know, but, you know, you just can't put it, but you know, you know. Him. Yes, yes. I had a similar experience. Mm. Yeah. And, you know, um, from there, you know, life goes on you growing up you grow up etc and it was on leaving school um because i suppose i was i was a avid reader you know whilst i was in school so you know you you leave school and then you have an opportunity to look at yourself you know um because you think you spend all your formative years within the English education system. But really, there was a void. There was nothing, you know, there was nothing about self. Yes, yes. <laughs> you know, and that was one of the first things I recognized after coming out of school is that myself as a black woman, as a black yes. person within, you know, um, within, the society and the world at large. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you know, um, and one of the, the aspects of it, well, I found myself um, spiritually, mm -hmm. spiritually wanting that development, a development within self, 
and I suppose it's all a part of knowing self. And I found the first year after leaving school, I spent a lot of time reading and trying to find linkages with us in the Bible. Yes. And his imperial majesty, etc. And which drove me to look at the history, the lineage of his imperial majesty and who he was, and then marrying his lineage up with the chapters in Revelation and coming to that conclusion, yes. Because I don't know of anyone at that time, I knew of no one else on earth mm. that could, you know, that I could identify with from that time to the present time. time. Yes, and, and even and even right now, it remains yeah. the same. It's you the know? same. It's the same, yes. But you, know, you're learning, but you know you're growing up, you're developing and you're and getting an overstanding for yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Were, were Rastafari people present, you know, in your in your moving around? Were you seeing other Rastafari people there in, in the UK? And what? And you're in London. I'm in London. Yes. 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 I was seeing um, other Rastafarians um, within the community, but I would say not at the time. At that time. There were Rastafarians within the community, but I couldn't say that I was very involved because yes. I'm just coming out of school trying to find myself within it. And then, you know, it's like a osmosis, I suppose, if that's the right yes. word. <laughs> You know, did, that's, did you did you know what they were about, what they were dealing with when you saw these Rastafari people? No, not at first. No. Okay. No, not at first. So, so when you come to this uh, revelation, you know, looking in the Bible, looking for yourself in the Bible, seeing mm. the connectivity. Yeah. Did you know that this was connected to these Rastafari people that you saw? No, not until I engaged in conversation, like to engage in conversation um, with the ones that I met and have been, and always and have always been a part of my life. Yes. Um, and that's when I got the understanding that we're really on the same road. Oh wow, that's fascinating. <laughs> that's fascinating. Yeah. Does a lot of sisters come to a bridge? No. Well, great is the Almighty, yeah. and greatly to be praised in the city of Haile Selassie the first, the mountain of His Holiness. Yeah, from Cape to Cairo, from Timbuktu to the Nile, you know, the whole entire continent. Beautiful for situation, the joy of the whole earth yeah, is Mount yeah, Zion, yeah, 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 from yeah, Accra yeah, to Isamaba. Yeah, yeah. Yes, beautiful continent, better conjo mama. Set the law, the lion come and dismantle Babylon floor. We gonna use solar energy, use sanitation to build the ecology. We utilizing green technology. We healing highly Selassie first without apology. And then we build the youth them economy. We dismantle Babylon monopoly. We teach the youth them how to live properly. Tell them make sure them got the title for them property. Yes, this beautiful continent Let them control Mama Africa From Cape to Cairo From Timbuktu to the Nile I smile For Mama Africa I love you Mama 
never harden I wanna turn all your slums into garden I wanna stop all of your youths from starving I wanna stop all of your tribes from warring So much to say, so many feelings We both been hurt, we both need healing Since the League of Nations you've been appealing You stand up against them bad door dealing I hear you call Mama Africa Been so long since I seen Mama Father of Africa set the law The lion come and dismantle Babylon flawed I hear you call Mama Africa Been so long in America Father of Africa set the law The lion come and dismantle Babylon flawed So be still, all enemies of Jah Know that he is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords The lion conqueror And it was said of Ethiopia The highest himself shall establish her His Majesty was born there And I know that I love you so There's no place that I'd rather go Tired of walking through slush and snow Repatriation, that's the most I know